Hey, before we start, we want to announce that we're giving away a bunch of prizes to people who have pre-ordered the book or pre-order it now. So go do that at asapscience.com book and then check out our Twitter and Instagram to find out how you might be able to win one of those prizes. And we've started planning our book tour. So if you live in New York City or New Jersey, make sure you check the description below so you can find it when you can come meet us, get your book signed and hang out for a bit. So yeah, we hope to see you there. Pew. Thousands of years ago as hunter-gatherers, we were a rugged, hairy, and nomadic society constantly on the move looking for more food and better shelter. But then things changed. We started to domesticate animals and plants for our own benefit. We created agriculture and essentially we started farming. This decision changed humanity forever and we still are seeing the changes now. But could it have been the biggest mistake humanity ever made? We humans are smart. It made sense to domesticate plants and animals, you know, to create crops and cattle and sheep and pigs. I mean, bacon, come on. And now with the ability to consume and grow way more food without having to run all over the place to find it, it makes sense that our ancestors were thinking Stowie Dale to this new way of domestic life. But it wasn't all fun and games. As a species, we actually shrunk. Hunter-gathering humans were on average taller, with men being around 5'9", and women being around 5'5". Five five. But by 3000 BC, after years of agriculture, humans hit a new low, literally. Men were now on average 5'3", and women on average 5 foot flat. Not only were we shorter, but we began to die younger. In fact, life expectancy changed from 26 to 19 years old. Meaning if we died that young now, we'd just be able to vote and legally watch porn and then we're dead. The reason for this decrease in life expectancy and height was malnutrition, iron deficiency, and many other diseases related to the fact that humans were now eating less diverse food compared to when they were hunter-gatherers. For example, they would be eating the same starchy food over and over and over because they were now growing it on their land, and this led to a lot of malnourishment and disease. Also, people began to live closer to farms for convenience sake, which led to the first concept of dense human populations all in one place. Age of Empires, anybody? This increase in density and population size actually increased the incidence of disease. The plague, for example, could not have spread as well as it did if it weren't for big cities. Nomadic people, on the other hand, just simply aren't close enough together to be spreading disease in the same way. Also, because of our new diet of processed food, our jaws were actually smaller and wider different than those of the hunter-gatherers who were long and narrow because their mouths were always under more stress. Because tooth size did not evolve as fast as jaw size, our teeth tend to be crowded in our mouths. Essentially, that's why we have our wisdom teeth taken out and why a lot of the time we need to get our teeth fixed with braces. Our teeth just aren't really meant to fit into our tiny mouths. So essentially, when we started farming, we domesticated ourselves. Domestication involves a species being naturally or artificially selected for desired traits, which eventually leads to their inability to survive on their own. We humans rely on agriculture and grocery stores for our survival, but if they weren't there, would you be able to survive? I mean, I'm pretty sure I could survive for like a couple days, but then after that I would be definitely craving a junior chicken and some fruit from South America that I wouldn't be able to get, and then Canadian winter would come and I would freeze to death, so yeah, I'm definitely the equivalent of a golden retriever at this point. But there are actually a lot of hunting gathering communities that exist today. And when studied, it's noticed that they eat extremely healthily and also have a lot of relaxation time. Something we don't actually have because we're always stressed trying to upload videos for you people. Also, they would survive if all the grocery stores and fancy wood paneled coffee shops and ridiculously expensive restaurants disappeared. So depending on how you want to gauge what it means to be a successful human, we could in fact be much worse off than our hunting and gathering counterparts. If something drastic happens to the world and agriculture crumbles, it will be fascinating to see human evolution evolve. And maybe these hunting gathering communities will thrive as we all revert back to our old ways of living. But for now, I'm gonna order a pizza, pay $5 for a coffee, and then I'm gonna take a photo of myself, post on Instagram, so make sure you follow me. So, what do you think? Do you think that agriculture was humanity's biggest mistake? Let us know your opinion in the comments below. And a while back, you might have remembered our video Beards versus Clean Shaven. Ah. <laughs> well, a company called Harry's actually reached out to us and was interested in sponsoring an episode. Harry's Fix is a common problem of paying way too much for overpriced razors. So a few days ago, we got our first set from Harry's delivered, which came with a sweet razor, three blades, and some nice shaving cream, and I used it to get a nice, clean, close, and comfortable shave. Don't you love it? Yeah, it looks, it looks pretty good. I'll give you that. <laughs> That's clean shaven one? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not only do they make their own blades, but they ship them for free. And you can get all this for $15 or even less off your first purchase if you use the code ASAPTHOCK. You'll actually get $5 off if you head to harrys.com and use the ASAPTHOCK code. That's H-A-R-R-Y-S.com. And it's like super sleek. Yeah, nice. It is nice. I love it. 
So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and we will see you on Saturday for the vlog. See ya. Mm -hmm.